Good morning, my name is Ryan, and this is the YB Merely Human video blog, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about North Korea, Syria, and Donald Trump, his actions, and the U.S. military, and all of that combined. There's a lot to be scared about, isn't there, with uh, worldwide things these days. There's a uh, mother of all bombs was put off, uh, tomahawk missiles, cruise missiles, uh, threat of nuclear bombs, chemical warfare. This is an uh, crazy, exciting, scary time, and as Christians, we can do some things about it. So I'm going to tell you what we can do about it. First of all, we need to know that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, authorities, cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. That's Ephesians 6.12. If you watch videos of North Korea and its leader, you will see darkness. You will see wickedness and evil. And just as Christ converted Saul of Tarsus into Paul, Christ and God can also convert anyone who calls upon his name. That includes evil leaders and leaders who wish to hurt and kill, above all else. North Korea does not allow the Bible. This is illegal in North Korea and in many other countries. This is the word of God. This is the truth as we know it, as I know it. And so this is what we can rest on. So what can we do? We can pray. Is, pray, is prayer important? Uh, does it do anything? I thought God predetermined how everything was going to come about. Well, if you look in the Bible and the events of the Bible, you can see that prayer is effective. Uh, James says the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective and righteous woman as well. So we can pray. And Philippians 4 6 also says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So this is a call to prayer for Christians everywhere to call to prayer for the safety of people, but also more so for the salvation of people. This is Good Friday. 2017. It's April 14th that I'm recording this, and there's lots of things that could happen in the next few days, the next few weeks, next few months in the world stage that are very scary, and we don't have to be scared by them. As Christians, we know that the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. That's Proverbs 21.1. We can impact what will happen by through prayer. In fact, even 1 Timothy 2 says, I urge that prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, supplications, for kings and all who are in high positions. So we are called to pray for Donald Trump, our uh, the President of the United States. We're called to pray for Kim Jong-un. We're called to pray for North Korea. We're called to pray for all the leaders across the land. And it says in 1 Timothy 2, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. That's what the world is after, is a peaceful life. And yet, there's so much conflict. Why is that conflict there? We know that this is spiritual warfare, and we can fight it as Christians. We don't have to wait for military action to be taken. We don't have to be concerned about any of that. We can fight. So, is what Donald Trump doing godly? Absolutely. It is godly for a government to use force to fight evil. However, as Christians, and not being the President of the United States of America, we can still fight that battle because we have God on our side. God is our, our friend and our ally, and God is for us. Is God not for you? Well, have you accepted Christ? The Bible says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Today is Good Friday, and it's called good not because um, we of things that we think of as good. Christ died, and that was tragic, and and it was a storm. It was a huge storm. And the truth is, it was good because Christ died for our sins. It was His plan to die for our sins. He subjected Himself to death so that we can call upon His name and achieve salvation, achieve righteousness, and life, eternal life with God. So, Romans 3.10, if you're interested, uh, Romans 3.10, Romans 5.12, and Romans 6.23, all great passages. Romans 5.8, 
God demonstrates his own love towards us, and that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. And then Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth, this is what you have to do to be saved, okay? This is, this is it. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's not if, ands, or buts. It's very clear the way Paul laid out the good news. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you haven't made a decision for Christ, you can make that decision right now by confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And that's what Christians are celebrating around the world this weekend. Easter Sunday is a celebration of Christ rising again, having power over death. And that's what a lot of us are scared of. It's death and and fighting and things like that. We don't have to be scared as Christians. We can pray. Thank you.